our question is, in what ratio is the line joining the point negative 2, 0, which would be right here, and 2, 8, which would be right here, cut by the axis? So if we take these two points and we draw a line between them, something like that, then we should be able to find out what ratio the part of the line above the y-axis, or to the right of the y-axis, is compared to the part of the line to the left of the y-axis. So that's our question. Our question is, what is the ratio between this portion of the line here and this portion of the line here? Now to do that, we need to find what this point right in the middle is. We need to, we need to identify where that line actually crosses the y-axis. It looks like it crosses pretty close to 4, but we need to make sure we know where it is so that we can get the ratio correct. Now, by definition, this point right here where this line crosses this axis is the y-intercept. I mean, that's what the y-intercept is, where your line crosses the y-axis. So if we can come up with the equation for this line and then identify the y-intercept, b, we should be able to find what our center point is or what our point is on that line so that we can figure out what ratio of the line is on each side. So let's first come up with the, the equation for that line. Let's use um, a slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And we have a y, um, we'll use 0, and we have an x, the associated x with the 0 for y is negative 2 b is what we're looking for, so the only thing we're missing to be able to fill in this form is m, the slope. To find the slope, we need to find what the rise and the run are to get from one point to another. Now we have these two points here. The rise between them, in other words, the vertical difference between them, is what it takes to go from 0, since we're 0 vertically here, up to 8, because this one's 8 vertically. So we have a rise of 8 units, 0 to 8. So our m, which is rise over run, is 8 over, and then the horizontal distance, the run, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So we have a, a run or a, a horizontal difference of 4 units, and that goes on the bottom of our fraction. So our m, our slope, is 8 over 4, which is 2. So now we can take this 2 value and put it in place over here, where m would be, and we get 0 equals 2 times 2, 0 equals 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus b, add 4 to both sides, and we get 4 equals b. b is the y-intercept, so we know that this point here actually is at 4. That's good. That tells us now that all we need to do is find the difference between here and here, between these two points, and compare it to the difference between these two points. Now, I'm noting that actually if this point is at 4, and it's 2 units over, and then from there we go another 2 units to get to this one, we actually have exactly the same horizontal difference left and right, either to get from this one over to this one, or to get from this one over to this one. And we also have the same vertical difference, because this one was at 4. We had to come down from 8 to 4, that's down 4 units to get to this one. And we did the same thing, down 4 units to get from this one to the next one. So that tells us that this point is actually right in the middle. It's the same difference between here and here, the top section, as it is between here and here, the bottom section. Let me change colors and highlight that a little better. So the distance between here and here, between these two points, is exactly the same as the distance between these two points. So the answer then, in what ratio is the line joining those two points, the uh, ratio is 1 to 1. It's exactly halfway in between those two points. This section here is exactly the same as this section here.